and hello again hello again and my name is Helmut Meshkowitz and welcome to another tutorial of hostmarket.com and today today uh, this is another tutorial for our cloud users and of course our cloud our cloud web hosting is offered in partnership with 20i data center so and in this tutorial this will be a walkthrough a short short tutorial and I will show you how to change your PHP configurations so in general most cloud sharing cloud sharing plat platforms do not allow you to do that in our case it is different and you have your you have your php configurator where uh, and you can play with your with these settings so let us begin and of course first things first you have to, you need to log in as always into your stackcp.com dashboard with your email with your password let us scroll down let us scroll down. Uh, this section is Web Tools. And over here, we can see PHP configuration. PHP configuration. Why? Uh, let me step it quickly back. Why? It could be the case. Sometimes you try to set up a new theme or install a large plugin or do something else. And you would, uh, you would have a notification that you have exceeded max upload size or size or max input times. So when you see that you have exceeded some limits, then most probably it can be easily, easily uh, sorted out with, with this PHP configuration, uh, with this PHP configuration values okay let us go back to our stack cp so this is these are the default the default settings and usually i'll i will just dig to the main ones so <clears throat> my apologies so usually what you want to do uh, they, these default settings are absolutely fine for for all the all the websites but okay. if you are hitting these limits so then i would say maximum execution time change it from 300 seconds to 1000 out to 1000 settings then go to maximum input time and change it from 60 seconds to 600 settings and these are the main things sometimes sometimes you might want to change maximum file uploads from 16 megabytes to 32 and in most cases that is it all you have to do is just update mm. the PHP configuration, mm. click the button, mm. and that's it. Yeah. No notifications, mm. nothing. So, and what has happened now? So we can leave the PHP configuration back. Let us go back and see, and see, and we can see the the new the, the new the newly uh, saved changes. So what have we done? We have changed the settings for the default for the default uh, domain name. And we can go to file manager. Yeah. So our, <coughs> my apologies, um, our primary domain name is all the files are in public HTML. So we will go in here. And then, then we'll see a new file that system has created. And here we we can see a new file user.ini and we can check it. Here it loads. Here it loads. Here you go. And here you can see the code. If you want to, you can copy this code, copy this code, and again. Copy, copy this code. Go back. Uh, go back to the other domains. You have. Um, you you have created this. Sorry, my daughter is is talking. She's not at school today. So, for example, you can go to photos. You can create new file. With user dot and code editor okie dokie here we go so let us let us get back let us get back that's that this is the beauty of doing that 
Ah, the real time walkthroughs. It hasn't copied. Code editor. Copy. Let me. Pass now. Okay, cancel. Let us go back. So these settings that we have changed have changed uh, for for all the for for everything that is in public HTML. But we, I do not I do not advise you to add to keep four files of other folders of, of other domains uh, in public HTML, do them separately. And we have separate, uh, we have a separate uh, demonstration for that. So our subdomain was users, go on here, uh, photos, And now we have set, we have done configurations, manual configurations for the subdomain photos. And automatically they were done by the configuration file here. So that was a short, short, short tutorial on, on how to edit your PHP configurations. If you do hit these limits, then of course, go around and play with them. If you have issues, please open a support ticket and we will help you out. We will help you out. If you are stuck, just, just open a support ticket and we will answer, answer your question as soon as possible. Of course, and if you do not have these issues, there is no need, absolutely no need, absolutely no need to change these settings. They are all set for 95, 98% of webmasters. Thank you and have a great, great day.